a lot of persons have lost jobs they have lost clients international clients simply because they don't know how they can receive payments from this international client especially those in countries like nigeria or ghana especially those in african countries yeah many of them they don't know how they can receive international payment that's payment from other countries now in this particular video i am going to be teaching you guys how i've been able to receive payment from over 11 countries and this payment i received them and i received them in my bank account through this particular method now if you are new to my youtube channel kindly subscribe because i'm going to be dropping more helpful videos like this and i'm also going to be dropping more ways i've received payment because this is not the only method that i've used to receive international payment but i think so far this is the best method i have used to receive international payment from over um let's say over 10 countries i received international payment from ghana from cameroon from libya from india from Sierra Leone, from togo from what other country I've received payment from US and I've received payment from Kenya, I've received payment from Uganda, I've received payment from Lee, um, Malawi using this particular method. So if you are new, subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you will not miss out on any other interesting and helpful video that I will be dropping because I always drop helpful videos on my YouTube channel. So let's go over to how you two can receive international payment now the method i am going to be teaching you guys is how you can receive international payments using flutterwave.com now flutterwave is a site it also has an app that you can actually use to receive international payments so let me teach you guys how you can create a flutterwave account it's a very simple step a very simple process all right you go to www.flutterwave.com now this is flutterwave site this is how it looks like now you don't have an account yet so what you are going to do you are going to click on create a free account now it's going to take you to this page you don't click on country choose your country in nigeria if you are not in Nigeria, pick the country you are coming from or you are creating from. Then fill the form, your first name. Alright, so I'm using my name as business name. So I'll click on get started. okay so they say account created successfully so i should check my email for a link to confirm my account so just go to your email go to your email and you will see a link so let's go to my email now all right this is my email i've seen i received my link from flutterwave so i've received my email from flutterwave so just click on confirm email address open with chrome say so please hold on while we create your account all right so now look at what they are telling you now this one is three category let's choose the account type for you individual accounts now if your business is not registered and you are just a freelancer choose individual account this is the reason they are not going to tell you to bring anything but if your business is registered go for business account now if you go for business account and your business is not registered you have to go and register your business because they will ask you for your csc certificate and if you go and pick this one don't come and meet me and say you don't know what to put in csc certificate so go for the first one if your business is not registered 
There are no profit entities for charity organizations, NGO, churches, mosques, and others. So I will go for the first one. Freelancer, sole uh, traders, and unregistered businesses. Another thing I should let you know. My business is registered. PD concept is registered. But what I used to uh, start this and I put as my business name is not registered. So don't go and put something as in case your business is registered. Don't go and put something as your business name. Then you now go and bring another CSC certificate. It will not be accepted. Instead, just go for individual account. So I'll click on continue. Now this next one how are you planning to use flutter with i said to create a store and sell products to collect payment on my website to send invoices and payment links to my um customer to collect donation or raise money for a course now if you are just using it to collect payment click on this second one you are using it to you want to create a store and start selling your product on flutter with click on this first one but our so um the sole reason of this course is for us to create invoice and payment links to customers that customers from different countries so we are going to pick this and press continue now our flutter wave account is created now they, they are going to ask you if you want to do two-step authentication if you want to do it fine if you don't want to do it fine now they say welcome to flutter with kindly provide the requested information to fully verify your account click on get started yeah it's just the attempts and their conditions just click on i agree all right now they say add your back account now if you send your payment link if you send your payment link you need to you need to put your back account to be able to receive payment that's if you want instant settlement they will call in flutter where you can request for instant settlement that means you will not be the one to start going to decide to transfer money to your account instead where the person from any country that you want to collect payment from where the person pay it will appear in your flutter wave then within two or three days it will appear in your bank account automatically so you can set your account now just they say bank name just click pick your bank name then i'm going to write my account number here now they are requesting for bva i don't want anybody to come and meet me and tell me that um he or she cannot put his bvn and i should look for a way to bypass it please and please and please nobody is going to take your bvn with and use it to do something else flutter with don't need the money in your account so please so please everything they requested for from you please give it to them they are not going to use your bvn to do anything so you need your bvn all right so i'm just going to stop my screen record and put my bvn all right so i'm just i've already put my bvn so i'm just going to click on save and continue all right so this is the next phase or next step or step two whatever we we'll call it now say write your trading name to register business name so your trading name the name you use before when they ask your business name is your trading name don't go and put something different please so i'm just going to write auto progress so the next thing i will do i will type in one of my phone numbers and then i'll go to support email and type my email address then support phone number I'll write a support phone number there 
category i will choose my category that's my business category then in business description i will describe my business then that verifiable website url or social media page just put your social media link there so i put my instagram link there so click on save and continue so after clicking save and continue it will take you here now country is nigeria for business physical address you can add your address then you add your states and then you choose your id card if it's driver license international passport anyone you have now congratulations you have successfully created a flutter wave account now the next step is on how you can create a payment link is that payment link that you'll be able to use to receive payment from other countries so i'm going to be dropping that video soon watch out for it